In this tutorial, we'll show you how to sync audio with video using waveform analysis. Today, we're working on SpaceCats. The camera's internal mic was recording scratch audio, but we didn't slate. So I'm going to sync via waveform. It's pretty magical. Premiere does all the work for you. Inside the audio folder and EVA1 folder, I'm going to sync the two clips labeled waveform. Command or control click on a PC and select both clips. Hold control to right click and create multi-camera source sequence. I only have one camera, so it's not really a multi-cam, but this will create a sequence that has video and audio in sync, which acts like a clip and does not modify your camera originals. So you always have something to go back to. In the dialog box, I name it as clip name plus sync. So I know these are my syncs. I'm syncing with waveform, so I'm going to select audio as my sync point. You can also sync by in point or time code. Check out the links in the description below. Make sure you deselect the move source clips to process bin. This keeps your clips where you put them and doesn't rearrange the project. Click OK and it'll process pretty quickly depending on the length of the clips. Now that that is finished, I'll open the new multi camera sequence it created in my source monitor. Hit spacebar to play it back. <coughs> Another way to sync audio and video in Premiere is to use the audio waveforms from your camera. That looks like it's in sync to me. If I hold down Command or Control on a PC and double click on the sequence, it will open it in a timeline. If you had more than one microphone in a scene, you can solo each mic here and pick the one you want to use. I can zoom in and compare the waveforms. The camera audio is on the very bottom. I can see that they are in fact in sync. We recorded the audio on a Mix Pre 10T. The fourth track is a wireless lavalier. The next was a boom. And track one and two are my left right mix out of the recorder. Now it's time to choose which mic I want to use. I know I want to use the third track, which is the boom. To do this, control or right click on the multi cam sequence and choose modify audio channels. I'm only using one audio channel, so I'm going to set this to one and I want this to be track three, so I check box three. All of the audio tracks are still there, but when we play it back, it is a single mono source from the boom. Another way to sync audio and video in Premiere is to use the audio waveforms from your camera. I'm ready to drop this into my final sequence now. Press period to put the clip into the timeline and I can see that there is a single audio track. If you want hands-on help syncing audio and video, stop by the Womp House.